The anti-procrastination experiment has been changing my life. Hi everyone, I am Andrea, the anti-procrastination mom. Welcome to my channel. One entire month of the anti-procrastination experiment and I cannot tell you how much my life has been transformed already. We are back at the mini series Vacation Made Easy for Busy Moms and today is the last video of this four part series. If you haven't watched the other videos, I'm gonna leave the links down below on the description box. Make sure you check them because those tips are a lifesaver. I am so happy to be back here and report to you that all the steps worked. Packing early so we wouldn't forget anything, having food ready to go, we had nutritious soup. When we got back hungry at dinner time, I was just so glad and grateful at my past self for having thought and taken care of us when she did. Also having a clean house with made beds, fresh sheets, it was wonderful. It just made the entire coming back home that much more pleasant and comfortable. Now the last step is unpacking, but you have to pack all over again to come back home. So that's where it all starts. And there is actually a little travel hack that I'm gonna be sharing with you today that has allowed me to travel light and come home with mostly clean clothes, which is do a load of laundry towards the end of your trip. Many times I have gone to laundromats and washed my clothes there just so I could come home with clean clothes and not have to do everything at home. Of course, it's not always possible to get laundry done, especially if you're traveling with little kids. It can be a little tricky, but this is a good one, especially if you're visiting family, because then you can just take all of your laundry to their house, or if you're staying there, do a lot of laundry and come home with clothes that are ready to just go back into the closets. When I'm packing to come back home, I make sure that I organize the bags in a way that it will be easier for me to deload later and organize everything. I put all the dirty clothes inside of a big bag. I brought with me a huge garbage bag and I just stuff everything in there and put on the side, I don't mix anything with it because when I get home, I can just pull that big bag and put by the laundry and start a laundry right away if I have time. Since we got back home at night this time around, I knew I wasn't gonna have time to do the laundry. I still had to make a video because I make videos every day, take care of the nighttime routine. I knew it was gonna be tight. So while my daughter was so excited to be back home and playing with all her toys, I made sure to put away all the clean clothes and separate the items I needed to sort and put away later. I took the dirty laundry, set by the laundry machine, put all the clean clothes where they belong. My goal was to have empty bags and I succeeded at that. This morning, as soon as I woke up, I started the laundry. In fact, my laundry just stopped and I have to get that last load onto the dryer here shortly. The anti-procrastination experiment has been changing my life and I hope that it's been inspiring you as well to get more things done, to get a little bit more organized, more productive on top of things so we can relax a little more. See, last night I wasn't stressed out that I had a video to make and I only started working at it. It was already past nine o'clock. I wasn't too worried about it because I knew I didn't have anything else sitting there waiting for me. I didn't have the weight of responsibilities because things were slowly getting done. I'm looking at this entire transformational process in my life as steps to becoming a more efficient person so I can enjoy more time, more quality time with my daughter, so I can have more time to play, so I can have more time to take care of me, to work on my personal projects, and really to do anything that I want because I have more time. Being organized just means that you have more time. I notice that my daughter is also becoming more aware of being organized and cleaning after herself and I swear I am not on her case. She's just watching me. Kids learn much more by example than by being told what to do. You can tell a child to do all day long and she won't do. But if she sees you consistently doing those things, naturally she will see that that's the normal and she's gonna do those things because that's just how it works. I hope you have enjoyed this mini series. I hope these little tips and travel hacks will help you in the future when you go on vacation. I know that I am adopting those steps for life because my vacation was so much more enjoyable. It's been under 24 hours since I got back from vacation and I am completely unpacked. My laundry is almost all done. I just need to switch the last load 
to the dryer and put them all away. I just store all my winter gear into this huge luggage because we live in Hawaii and we don't need any of it at any time during the year. So that makes my life a little bit easier as well. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Now let's get out there and get stuff done. I will see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.